Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com and welcome to another Adorama Picks Rapid Fire Critique where I take your best 10 images and give it a critique a critiquerson. And if you haven't done so yet, you can submit your images, your best 10 images for a critique over on my website attached to any of the critique posts. There is a link for you to submit your best 10 images. So right here we have something from Justin Collins. It says critique. All right, Jared. What you got for me, question. Go ahead and be brutal. You're not going to offend me, I promise. All right, fine. I'm going to do what I always do. Critique, the way I critique. Nikon D5300 35mm f1.8, which is a lens that I've highly recommended for a long time on a crop sensor camera. Um, what, what city is it? I don't know what city is. It's fine. It's cool. The processing's fine. It's a little muted, uh, um, but I don't think my style of contrast would have worked on an image like this. Black and white could be interesting, being that it is so muted. Um, it's it's interesting. I, I personally want to see more of what's going on in the lens, but I do get it that you've got the city and structures over here, so that works, and you've got the city and structures right here. So it's creative, I like it. I know he wants me to be brutal and honest. I would like to be even more brutal, but it happens. She has a belly button piercing. That's what I noticed first things first. Uh, D3200, 50 millimeter F1.8, July of 2015. So that's fine. Not a lot of light in the face. I don't mind all the dust and stuff that's captured in the air. Um, Framing-wise, you're either going to do a vertical or you're going to do a horizontal, but throw her off to the side just a smidgen more. To, to my eyes, she's a little bit too much in the middle. I'm a big proponent of off to the sides, leading lines. Her eyes lead you in or out of the frame. Um, that's something that some people will say, don't do rule of thirds all the time. I don't say do it all the time. I give suggestions that rule of thirds can work. Uh, I think in this case, a little bit more off to the side. You got to be careful. That's a little too tight on the elbow. But something along this lines with a little bit more elbow room there would be perfectly fine. Uh, you definitely want to keep the belly button ring in there. Uh, so it's all right. Processing's fine. Um, but there's not, not, a, not a lot of light on her face. And there's a big ass hot spot on the top of her head. What the f what is, Jesus. Okay, Nikon D3200. Um, is the whole barrel of the gun in there? I know I should, somebody likes guns. Now, first off, if you're gonna be doing photos with guns, which I personally am not a fan of doing much with guns myself, but you're gonna wanna be careful, especially if you're in an alley, you're on the street, if somebody's gonna pick up the phone and call the cops on you, you could be asking for trouble. Not because the cops are coming, but because miscommunications can happen. You may be a law-abiding citizen, you may have the, the permits and everything to conceal and carry or have guns. You just need to be smart when you go and do this stuff and don't go out looking for trouble. If somebody calls the cops on you, it, it's because you have a fucking gun. If somebody calls the cops on you, it's because you have a gun and you have a big ass ma and you have a mask on and you look like a scary individual. You need to be careful when you're doing that uh, or you need to make sure that it is a photo shoot. Like you hold up a sign, somebody holds up a sign that says photo shoot in session, something like that. Okay, so moving on. I like the processing. I like the darkness of it. I would brighten it up just a smidgen because we're losing a little bit of the detail, well, a lot of the details. So I would work on the processing. I would do a little bit of the shadows in here. I know that it's in, a, in, a, uh, in an alleyway, but I would brighten it up just a smidgen. Mm, this one's not as good. Um, yeah, I'll just tell you, this, this, just, this is a basic boring photo. As part of a photo story, I will always say, Anything as part of a photo story could work. It's just I don't find this very interesting. Lack of depth of field. It was taken at uh, f2.8, but with the 35 millimeter from a little further back, you could see almost everything in focus from front to back. So this is just a boring image. Not much to it. Moving on. So I sit here and I'm trying to figure out, are they too close? Is the photographer too close to the fence to make it work because it's very muted 
and I'm getting this sick feeling looking at it. Get out of here, you. It's just messing with my head slightly. What do you think, guys? Leave a comment down below on what you think about this image, and of course, you can comment about all of them, but this is a... I don't know that I like it because I can't really tell that the fence is there. I can see that the fence is there after I'm looking at it, but it's a little on the dark side, and it's not. I'm not feeling it. I could be wrong, of course. I like this. I like the angle that it's taken. I like the shape of the building here and the lines here and the blue sky looks good. It's very nice. What lens was this taken with? A 50 millimeter. So pretty nice with the lines being straight. I just like the feel of it. It's basic and simple, but I like it. This, not so much. It's just a basic snapshot. Not much going on here other than you have a snapshot of a person taking pictures. <sighs> How many of you yawned when I yawned? Just a basic shot moving on. I'm not a fan of, great, you have a gun and a camera, good for you. I just, why do you have a gun for one? It's too dark, the image is too dark. You may try, be, be, you may tr be trying to convey that. I don't know if it's a self portrait or anything, but I'm not a fan of somebody pointing a gun at me whether it's loaded or not, um, whether it's real or not. I can't tell you if it's real or not, uh, it looks mighty real from this angle. I, I, so you got a camera and a gun. I just think this is one of those pictures that isn't necessary. I, 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 don't, I don't get it. You've got a camera and a gun. I, I, I might be missing something personally, but I don't think this is necessary. I don't think you need to go out into the world looking to make a shot like this. You're carrying a gun, you're carrying a camera. Cool. What purpose does it serve? You guys can leave a comment and, and, and in, a pos in, a, in a proper way, leave a comment if you think I'm wrong. Don't just call me a dick. Don't just say I'm totally wrong. Start a dialogue. Do it right. I don't feel that you should be taking pictures. Somebody's pointing a gun straight at you unless you're going for something specific. In this case, I think it's just doing it just for shock value. Unlike the guy in the alleyway, which had a mask on trying to convey a different message, this I don't get. I don't get it this I like. I like this. I, I would, I wish this wasn't cut off, but where are the tops to the cans? Do they get like a special sprayer? I don't, I don't know, but I love the colors. I love the, I like this image a lot. I love top down detailed images, especially when it's not flat. These are three dimensional objects and you're creating three dimensional look inside of this image. Love the colors. Love the fact that this thing is just laying here. Um, this could be the way that it was, I like this image. Nice job. And you know I'm not going to like this image, but... And I Great. You got an assault rifle with an American flag on it. In a photo story context, if this is part of a photo story, this absolutely 100% could work. And if the other photo with the guy pointing the gun and the camera was part of a photo story dealing with photographers and guns, then possibly it can work. Something like this on its own, unless it's, it, you, it's hard to wrap your head around what the context is other than you have a gun and you took a picture. In the context of a story, it works. I want to see your best 10 photo stories. Not a lot of people are sending in photo stories. They're sending in their best 10, which is fine. I don't mind that, but I would love to see a nice cohesive 10 image photo story sent in that I can critique, so please be sure to send those in. Uh, I'm gonna leave it at that. Was I overly harsh? No, uh, there wasn't reason to really be overly harsh like they said. There's some really nice images, there's some other images that are just blah, like the gate and the one of just the girl taking a photo, and the ones with the guns without context in a story, it doesn't exactly convey a message to me as somebody who's just looking at 10 images and trying to figure out what's going on myself in my head. So that's another Adorama Picks rapid fire critique. If you'd like to submit your best 10 images, go ahead and do that. Look for that in the look for that link over on the site. That's it. Jared Pollen Fro knows photo.com. See ya. Subscribe now. Watch this, watch this video.